Do you get to go? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, didn't let me on t shirt. <laughs> oh my god. Generosity. Put in a cup. <laughs> Hello and welcome to episode four of Megabytes. We're back. This is our second last episode. Just to remind you once again, our theme for this week is step out, step up. So we're looking at New Testament characters who stepped out in faith and stepped up to God's calling on their lives. Anything exciting coming up in today's episode? Oh, it's always exciting, man. You're dead right. I'm looking forward to seeing what badges Backpack Ella gets today. Mm, she's got three already, hasn't she? She does indeed. Indeed. What are you looking forward to? Uh, I always look forward to some songs. So we're going to have some classic CSSM songs happening later on. And one of my personal favourites is watching out to see when Ben pops up. Oh, indeed. Indeed, he'll be there. He will, he will be there. Uh, who's our talk on today, Dina? The talk is on the loads and the fish. And who's doing that talk? Dazzling Daz is doing that talk. Yes, yes he, he is. is. Can I pray before we get things started? Please do. Okay. Uh, Lord, thank you uh, so much that we can gather and there's, that there's tech to gather in just different ways. Um, so thank you for that, Lord. We pray that the theme of today really resonates with us and pray that we, once hearing all of this stuff, are encouraged to step out and step up to what you have planned for our lives. In your name we pray, Lord. Amen. Amen. Oh, but that's, is that your jacket? No. Oh. That looks like, that's Isaac's jacket. Hey, hey Isaac. Hey, Isaac. Oh, there we go. Hello and welcome to day four of Megabytes Games. I again am your host, Isaac, and today we have... Whoa, what's your name? My name's Sarah. And what's your move? Class. And number two... Whoa, what's your name? Sarah. And what's your move? Class. All right, so today's game is... Thank you very much. Day four. How many bytes for this? Oh, for this we'll need... Hang on. Whoa, okay, all right. So, how many bites? The way this works is there are six items of food on this table. You guys don't know what they are, okay? When it is your turn, you will pick one item. It has a number of bites that we think you can eat it in. So for example, this one says eight. We think you can eat this food in eight bites, okay? Now it's your challenge to try and see if you can eat your food in as few bites as possible, all right? Okay, if you succeed, you get points. If you fail, well. Okay, are we ready to go? Yes. All right. Okay, we're gonna start with Sarah. So Sarah, which of our delicacies would you like to pick? I'll pick this, this one. This one, okay, it has a number two on it. Let's pull it closer to you. How many bites do you think you can eat this in? I think I wanna stick with the two. You're gonna stick with the two? Yeah. Okay. It is a whole bar of chocolate. Okay. It's doable, yeah. Are you ready to go? <laughs> All right, off you go. Two bites. Now, no to our viewers at home, she can have as many chews when it's in the mouth, but only two bites. Off you go. It's a lot of pressure. One. This is quality entertainment. <laughs> wow, well done. All right. Contestant two, Sarah, what would you like to pick? Um, I think I'll pick this one here. Okay, this one here. All this right. one. It says one bite. How many bites do you think you can do it in? Do you think you can do it in the one? No, I'm, I'm gonna say two. You're gonna say two as well. Just okay. in case. All right. So this one is... <laughs> a handful of grapes. A bowl of grapes. Okay. Okay, I guess you I ready? can probably do this in two. In two bites? Mm -hmm. Off you go. Okay, she's going for four of the nine grapes in one <laughs> go. Mm. Sounds delicious. <laughs> it's unfortunate we haven't mic'd you guys up. That's what great. Okay. Mm. Do you think you can get the second one? <laughs> You're not sure? You're still struggling <laughs> with the first one? That's fair. All right. Okay, I'm gonna try here. Okay. This watchers at home, please make sure you ask your parents before trying this. 
Mm. Yeah? How much do you like grapes, do you think? And after this, how much do you think you like grapes? Still <laughs> like grapes? Well, that was really good. Nice. Okay, I think we're gonna have one more. Do we have time for one more? Okay. I think you should each pick an item and eat it at the same time. So, Sarah, which would you like to pick? I'll just stick with the one in front of me. The one in front of you. Okay, this says two. And we'll, Sarah, would you like to pick an item as well? Um, yeah, I'll pick this one. Yeah. This one that says four. Okay. So, Sarah, let's see. How many bites do you think you can give us in it? It says four. Um, I'll say five. You'll say five. Okay. Do you think you can go lower? If you can go lower, you could win. It says two. I have a small mouth, I'm gonna stick with two. You're gonna stick with two. So we've got two and five. All right, okay. unveil your, you can unveil your foods. Unveiling. So Sarah's eating a full boiled egg. Disgusting. Sarah's eating a full packet of crisps. You may open it before you start. So you said five bites? Five bites. You said two. All right, off you Is go. Is this a race? I don't know, it's oh, just no, it's whoever just, can oh, do yeah, it. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. off we go. I don't know which person you'd rather focus on in this camera, but if you're at home, I hope you're cheering on. <laughs> Poor Sarah here who has to eat a whole boiled egg Ooh. in two bites. Okay, we've got one, we're doing well. How many bites are we on? Mm. Just still one, okay. Okay. I don't know, I feel like potato, you can get them down pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. We have checked beforehand to make sure none of our participants are allergic to any of the foods, because none of us would like to watch that. Okay, we're going for bite two. Are we on bite two yet? No, we're still on bite one, okay. Don't forget that you have your water if you need it. Oh, the smell of that egg is reaching me. Disgusting! Okay. I'm alright, I can't help. <laughs> Are you on by two? You're going on two for by three? Are we in for by two? If this is completed, then we will have a winner. I think we might be alright. How are we doing? By three? No. Still by two. This is going to be by three. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Are we complete? If we are complete, then Sarah Anderson will be the winner. You done? Nearly. Nearly? Okay. How are we doing? <laughs> still by three, still by three. How much, how many crisps have we got left? Mm. Okay, quite a lot. Okay, we're nearly done. Are we done? Are we done? I'm done. We are done and we have a winner. Sarah Anderson is the winner. Sorry, Sarah C, you will be pied at the end of the day. Thank you for so, so much for joining today. I'll see you for one more day tomorrow. Anuma, 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 Anuma. I'll see you very next time. Oh no. <laughs>
one of my favorite gifts was a camera. This camera was my favorite gift for a few different reasons. One, because I love taking photos, but two, because actually it meant I could help other people so I could capture memories for other people. I could produce talks and produce different things. So it opened up a wildly different world. It had a multiplication effect. So today we're gonna to be looking at a story in the Bible about the loaves and the fishes. There's a boy in this story who gives generously what he has. So we're gonna to look today at this story about what little the boy gives and what God does with what little that boy gives. So let's see what God does. Today's story comes from John, John chapter six. And it goes like this. So we start at verse three. Then Jesus went up to the mountainside and sat down with all his disciples. His disciples are his pals. The Jewish Passover festival was near. When Jesus looked up and saw a great crowd coming towards him, he said to Philip, I like to call him Phil, where should we buy our bread for all of these people to eat? There's loads of them. He asked this only to test Phil, for he had already made up his mind on what he was going to do. Phil answered, it would take more than a half a year's wages to buy even enough bread for all of these people to have one bite. Another of his disciples, Andrew, we'll call him Andy, Simon Peter's brother, spoke up. He said, there's a young boy here with five small barley bread loaves and two small fishes. How far will that go among so, so many people? Jesus said, make the people sit down on the comfy grass. So they sat down. About 5,000 men were there. These, Jesus then took the loaves, gave thanks and distributed to those who were seated. As much as they wanted, the food kept coming. He did the same with the fish. When they had all had enough to eat, their bellies were full, he said to his disciples, gather all the pieces, the leftovers, let nothing be wasted. So they gathered them all and filled 12 baskets. That's 12 baskets with pieces of loaves left over and bread and fishes not fish. So that's the story. But I think I'm a bit hungry talking about all that food. So let's go see what I can find. What I love about this story is the little boy. So he turns up to a place with more than 5,000 people with this tiny little lunch of five loaves and two fishes. For me, when I think back to my school, what I had in my lunch, I had a frube, a cheese string, a sambo, anything like that, but it was always really small. Not enough to feed 5,000 people. So what I love about this little boy is he stepped up and stepped out. Imagine the courage, the bravery, and the generosity to step out and offer your food. Because the disciples were there and they weren't fully sure about what Jesus was going to do. And they'd seen his miracles. But this is just a young boy. Imagine the fear, the just the feeling of not knowing what people are going to think. But he steps up and he steps out. So what does that mean for us? What does that mean for you? Well, what I think it actually means is giving what we have to God and seeing what he's going to do with it. So that could be our time, it could be our money, it could be our whole lives. So my challenge for you today is to step up and step out to see what God has got planned for your life. Cool. Whew, smell of that. So, how do we put all that into practice? Well, we saw in today's drama with Backpack, Ella. She didn't maybe at first want to give her stuff, uh, her food away to Deepak, but in the end she did because she knew it was the right thing to do. Uh, and this reminded me of a story of when I was young. We went to this massive Christian festival called Summer Madness. At that, there was a charity called Tear Fund, and we're doing this project called Twinning Toilets. So what you could do is you could buy a toilet and this would provide a brand new clean toilet for disadvantaged areas in Africa. So our youth group thought, oh, this is a class idea, let's get on board and see what we can do. Our youth group wasn't a massive youth group, but all the young people, they gave whatever pocket money they were given, the leaders gave whatever money they had, um, and they went and bought as many toilets as we could. So we managed to twin 14 toilets that year. So that was us giving what little we had and seeing what could be done with it. So imagine if we give what little we have in our lives, it may feel like we're not giving much 
But imagine if we brought that to God and we saw what God could do with that. So my challenge for you today is to take some time right now to think about what you can give to God. Have you thought? Okay, cool. Well, with that, let's go and try and put that into practice. So let's step up and step out to what God's calling is on our life. All right, here we go! And welcome back to the last segment of the day. Pie and prayer. Where one of us gets pied and the other prayers. Sarah, yes, you lost today. I did. But do you have a chance to unlose? Redeem myself, yes. Indeed. Shall we go? Mm-hmm. Great. Okay. <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. No! Well, Sarah, you've lost again. Allow me to introduce to you the pie. <laughs> and, now and now I will pray. Lord, thank you so much for everything that we've learned today. Thank you for Darren's talk on the loaves and the fish. Um, I pray that you will help us to apply that story to our lives um, and enjoy the rest of our day, Lord. Amen. Amen. Well, we'll see you tomorrow for more fun. <laughs> Anuma, 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 Anuma. See you very next time. Om nom.